Hi everyone, I hope that you're all well. So for this lesson on negative numbers, the learning objectives are to be able to multiply and divide with negative numbers. So the rule for multiplying and dividing is very similar to the rule for adding and subtracting. When the signs are the same, the answer is a positive. So here, if we look at, if we have a negative number multiplied by a negative number, those two signs are the same. The answer is going to be a positive number. And the same thing happens when dividing. If we have a positive divided by a positive, those signs are the same. So the answer is a positive. When the signs are different, the answer is a negative. So if you have a positive times a negative, the answer is a negative. If you have negative times positive, those signs are different, so the answer is a negative. And the same applies when dividing. 2 times minus 6. So let's look at the numbers first. 2 times 6 is 12. We have a positive multiplied by a negative. Those signs are different, so my answer is a negative 12. H, find the difference between 6 times minus 2 and minus 8 times minus 7. So let's work these out first. 6 times minus 2. Let's look at these. 6 times 2 is 12. Looking at the signs, a positive times a negative is a negative. Then let's work out minus 8 times minus 7. Looking at the numbers, 8 times 7 is 56. And then looking at the signs, a negative multiplied by negative, those signs are the same, so my answer is going to be a positive. So the question asks us to find the difference between minus 12 and and 56. So I'm going to use a number line to help us with this. I'm going to mark 0 on the number line and then put these numbers. So we have minus 12 here and 56 would be up here. So when finding the difference we want to find the gap between these two numbers. So to get from 56 to 0, that's a gap of 56. And to get from 0 to minus 12, that's a gap of 12. So to the answer to this will be 56 add 12, giving us an answer of 68. Now let's look at dividing with negative numbers then. So in the top right hand corner I have the rules. So again, if the signs are the same, then the answer is a positive, and if the signs are different, the answer is a negative. So looking at A then, we follow the same steps as we did with multiplying, but this time we divide. So we look at the numbers first. 8 divided by 2 is 4. A positive divided by a negative. Those signs are different, so the answer is a negative. Part B, look at the numbers first, 18 divided by 3 is 6, look at the signs, a negative divided by a negative, those signs are the same, my answer is a positive 6. Looking at part C, minus 35 divided by 7, look at the numbers first, 35 divided by 7 is 5. A negative divided by a positive, those signs are different, so it is a negative. And part D then, we have 96 divided by minus 12. Look at the numbers first. 96 divided by 12 is 8. Positive divided by a negative, those signs are different, so my answer then is going to be a negative. And that's dividing negative numbers. Here's an exercise for you to practice dividing negative numbers. So as before, can you get yourselves a piece of paper, write out these questions, 
press pause, try them out, and when you're ready to mark your answers, press play and I'll be going through the answers with you. A. We have 9 divided by minus 3. So let's look at the numbers first. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then we look at the signs. A positive divided by a negative. Those signs are different, so my answer is a negative 3. B. Minus 35 divided by 5. Look at the numbers. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now let's look at the signs. A negative divided by a positive. Those signs are different, so my answer is a negative. Part C. Negative 30 divided by negative 6. Look at the numbers. 30 divided by 6 is 5. Look at the signs. A negative divided by a negative. Those signs are the same, so my answer is a positive. D, minus 63 divided by 9. Look at the numbers. 63 divided by 9 is 7. Look at the signs. A negative divided by a positive. The signs are different. My answer is a negative. E, 56 divided by minus 8. Look at the numbers first. 56 divided by 8 is 7. Look at the signs. Positive divided by a negative is a negative 7. F. Minus 10 divided by minus 2. Look at the numbers first. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then look at the signs. Negative divided by negative. Those signs are the same. So my answer is going to be a positive. G. Negative 12 divided by 6. Look at the numbers first, 12 divided by 6 is 2, a negative divided by a positive, those signs are different, so my answer is a negative. So please mark your work. So that's the end of this lesson on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. So what I'd like you now to do is to access your homework on MyMaths. So visit mymaths.co.uk log in using the school's username and password and then once you've done that i'd like you to log in to my portal using your own personal username and password if you don't have those for any reason please email either myself or your maths teacher and we will email those to you once you log in to your portal you come to a page like this so if you want you can go through the lesson and that'll give you extra um, interactive support with regards to negative numbers. If you're ready to try out the online homework, click on online homework. Remember question one was linked to lesson two. So we will now be working through question two, which are a few questions on multiplying and dividing negative numbers. Mark your answers and remember to save as well, please. Thank you.